Aloha and welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. Today, uh, we have as our guest, Dr. Ray Garendi. Everyone knows who he is. His website is uh, bad, badfatherjokes.com. You can find all the bad dad <laughs> jokes there that you want. Maybe I'm going to sue you, Bear. <laughs> We're going to have a great time. We're going to get deep. We're going to talk about uh, the, the last verse of the Old Testament. I'll turn the hearts of the fathers to the sons and the sons to their fathers. If ever there was a, a need for us to talk about it, and having the right guest to talk about it is right now. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. So they need to know your love and, uh, and affection more than ever, but they also need to know that that lighthouse on that, on that coastline isn't moving, that that's the, that, that waypoint of their father's uh, uh, p- belief in how to live life is, hasn't changed. They, need, they can almost feel that as they move away from who you are and how you've raised them, it's almost like a rubber band that hopefully someday will pull them back, but you've got to re- maintain the relationship with them. I draw this parallel. For most of us, some of the things that our kids do that creates a distance is sexual sins of various types. That's the main thing people struggle with. I asked them, what if your 22 year old son said, I hate my grandfather's guts. I wish he were dead. I would probably do it myself, except I don't want to go to jail. I asked them, would you then shun your son the very same way you're shunning him because he's living with his girlfriend? And I see what's going on in the street right now, and that's what it feels like. It feels like a lot of fatherless children, especially fatherless men that have all this pent-up rage and energy from not being fathered, first of all, properly, but also just don't know, don't have a clue about life. Our culture, Bear, has decided that males are pretty expendable. Uh, We're probably the first culture in history that has taken males and put them down in terms of their role. Uh, They're either not needed, or if they are on the scene, they're buffoons, or they're uh, subservient to maybe more feminine characteristics. So what has happened is a lot of guys have embraced that role. They They have said, well, if I really want to be a leadership man kind of guy, I'm going to be toxic. The culture is going to accuse me of being an imperious, overbearing, autocratic male. And what they have done is they essentially have taken guys and said, get rid of your manhood. Get rid of it. We've let them, we've, they've, uh, we've let ourselves be neutered. How do you say, how do you define what a man is? Now remember, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.